As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. So, uh, let's see what we were doing uh, last time. Uh, we were playing The Witcher, it was two weeks ago. Um, and we had gone to a party with Jennifer and Skellige. And uh, since then, we have gotten an updated quest uh, in the uh, Finding Siri. Alright, um, Echoes of the Pass, uh, Echoes of Skellige. So we are going to visit Triss. Uh, oh wait, no. That's actually no grad. My bad. Uh, we're going to meet Yennefer at the site of the magic cataclysm. Okay, there. Um, let's see if we have any upgrades we can do. We can do three, three update points. Okay, all right. Not too shabby. Uh, so, what do I want to put these in? I guess let's go way back down. Uh, so, last time I also got attacked by the guards. That was fun. What are you looking at? Should be fun. 
is that? Oh, it's all drowners. Oh, I have to. Nice. Looks like I did something good for him. Alright. You hurt! You got to be able to do just for a day? Not a week, Rick, I reckon, but right now he says he can't beat the jail. You know, that's how you earn respect in Skellige, Garrett. That's exactly how. What do you want from me? Brings it to me. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. All right. What's he got? No Gwent cards. I really want more Gwent cards. Hmm. Farewell. You know what else will help me? If I uh, change back into my fighting stuff. My fighting clothes.
the hell? Oh. Alright. And we continue our journey. Yes, oh, I love it, man. Oh shit! Mine. Jump. Move it. Played Witcher 3? Loved it. Uh, I beat one and two, but then got 70 hours and three, and never beat the story. Gotcha. How was one and two? Because I actually never played that, or played those. Um, I just jumped straight into this one whenever the series came out. Uh, they're rough and didn't age well. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, just watching the YouTube. Uh, stuff on it. He seemed like they were uh, like less. Um, not less time was put into them, but um, kind of like you said, it just did not go well as far as the graphics go um, compared to now. Uh, yeah, most recent save. But I mean, I would have liked to play them to get to know the story a little bit more. Than I do now. Um, uh, I'm actually on the second book. Uh, I bought the series, or the, I guess, bundle, um, like two or three weeks ago. And I'm not a reader at all, but I absolutely love the first book. Uh, I finished that one two nights ago, and I'm starting the second one. Uh, I started it this morning. And uh, it's going really good. I love the books, but these, I, I, um, like I said, I don't like reading at all, and I love these. That took me way back here. I forgot how to 
take out my stoof. Alright, so we are almost to the point where we just died. Do good on that one. This is really dumb because they're like drowning and shit. Easy kills. But uh, I can't remember how to do a lot of the things. So I got the treasure already, I think. Faster. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way, try and cut off some time. clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. 
and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urboros created the mask, and the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urboros made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Has anyone ever used it? So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. <laughs> Theft or no theft, Croc gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watched the no alien magic taste hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Croc turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No! Jennifer's used the mask. Damn, man. that unicorns damn it Yen. i saw the fauglets <laughs> i meant how'd they get here the power of the mask summoned them what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places places where past events left a strong magical imprint take it want me to wear it yes i'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want, anyway. No harm in it, then, is there? <coughs> Let's go. Already found the first spot. Instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far until everything is limited oh. in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot.
also need to uh, put regular clothes back on. But I haven't done that. that hmm. a magic explosion of some sort yeah, so that. powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but okay. siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape let's see where to place is creepy i don't like it nor do i anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving i know what you're thinking but don't worry siri can take care. Figure out where Ciri's companion fled to. His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Looks like we're going to Bellin. Well, ready? Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic. And fled through a portal. Mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Nope. Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here. Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. We did. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon who? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Siri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? 
Valen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling you found something trail. interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. Tis true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durham. Which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is an obstacle for her. Ah. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women. And an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Oh, Wait, right can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on this floor. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Burly sprouted whispers, but in the brine they lie. And me, living and on board. Perhaps we're written in the stars. Can't find anything. Grass has grown over our lovelings. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. Then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before, before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven, 
A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvag? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Um, do I want to take it? I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. All right. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Well, well, thanks for, thanks for help. your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Step down. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. We'll come back to that treasure later. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Or maybe. My, my. That must be Morkvarg. Quite the appetite. Mm -hmm. Might even call it Wolven. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. Shank! Not, not again! Not again! 
Jesus. Yeah, he's cursed, all right. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. What's this happening here? Oh, it's past travel. Cool. All right. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Cam Morin out from under you. Go already. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. There we go. Doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Blood. Craven's blood.
Raven's blood. Got some more blood. Craven was injured, started running. Okay. Craven's blood. Okay, that's just more shit over and over again. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. More blood. It's in there. Rake, I can sell that. down here somewhere. Oh, that's a cave entrance. Nice. Use that later. Looks like rain. Another corpse. No bite marks here either. Lots of prints, old 
brand new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Back over there.
gates open, but nothing's happening. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. I'm on the right path. Blood. Oof. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found it. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Hmm. Oof. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. You're right. Alright. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Oh, they need first, then me, and they need to last. Selene, Selene, Zephrain! Selene, Selene, Davidar! Are you crazy? 
Raven of Lofferton. No, I... This is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She's wise. She cursed me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak. No. Speak. Siri now, I think. Siri, Zirel, can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how did I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Help... Help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl... You was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rock's a ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Huh. That man in the mass, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, from very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. A mainless drink don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! I'm 
flaming a goal at her. Just go for the goal. All right. In you go and get out of those rags. But all of them. I should think so. Finally. Oh. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off. But the cruel sea swallowed him. <sighs> Close. Eh, hey, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? I'd rather not talk about myself. Why is that? Someone might come looking for me. I wouldn't want to cause you any trouble. It's too late for Skial. What? He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like he was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skial? Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Skjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Thank you once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'm going! I can look after myself.
What became of that creature? Where is he? Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't 
you dare try to calm me. We've every right to be furious. Furious! And you, you will pay for this. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Totally worth it. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. Didn't learn much. Though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen either. Leaves Novigrad, world's biggest city. No one said it would be easy. Better to have some idea where to look than none. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something. Or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen. A castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. Seems early to me. What would I do with him, cart him around while I searched for Ciri and hunted monsters? He's safe where he is, with the baron. At least I think so. I'll get him once I know why Ciri went to Novigrad, what she did there. Still a chance I might find her there. All right. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. If for that, and for your help in the garden, I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Good ways through the Skellig story. In fact, I think we're done with Skellig now. Um, there are a few side quests that I do want to do here, though. Uh, we'll do that next time. Return. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe on Twitch and YouTube. D underscore baby underscore banks on YouTube. There's a space before the banks. Don't forget that. Um, Thank you very much, uh, happy holidays, and thank God 2020 is now done. Later.